Hey fools, my name is Catherine and I'm the girl behind Bitch Dizma. If you want to see how I did this eye look, be sure to check the description box and check out my Tiana inspired eye look. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you saw it, if not, then check it out because it involves really bright colors and I think it would be perfect for St. Patrick's Day. So let's get started on the hair tutorial today. So I'm showing you guys a new ish hair tutorial that I kind of learned. It in involves me trying to do victory rolls and it didn't go as planned but it looks like a very simple and elegant 40s updo. So here's my test and fail trying to do a victory rolls and finding something else. So let's get started. If you want to know how I did my um, bone rollers, check out my video. Uh, before, I've done a video on sponge rollers before, or foam rollers, whatever you want to call it. And I will have that in the description box below too, so you guys can see that. And I said the same way I always do. So let's get started. So let's take all this out. Um, three. Okay, so now I'm going to take my hand kneading brush and I'm going to brush out these curls. You could leave it like this and it'd be still pretty, you know, like you still get that nice S wave right there. Just pull this behind and look. Glamorous Hollywood waves, but we're not doing that today, so we're going to We're gonna keep this side part, so I'm gonna keep my natural um, deep side part that I usually have. right above the ear.
Okay. So now that we got that, so we're going to go from, we went from the top of the ear to the crown of the head. And from our deep part. So we just want, this is the only hair we're going to be working on today. So we're going to have all of the rest of the hair pulled back and out of the way. Because we're not going to worry about this. So we're just going to focus on this front piece. So first off, you're going to part this into two. That did not work out very well. Look at that. That's a very bad part. This one's coming back. I'm like, no, go this way. I'm such a dry scalp right now. It's horrible. So we're going to work on the bottom half first, and we're going to tease the ends. No, I mean not tease the ends, we're going to tease the, the top part here. Just to help with the volume. We're gonna take it at a 90 degree angle like you would with a um, bleacher rule. I'm gonna wrap the ends around my fingers, make sort of like a pinky curl, and just roll that in. Except we're going to roll that into a pin curl that's gonna stay right here. Take some vibrance and just pin that down. So bad. We're going to do the next section and we're going to do the same thing. So tease. So for this one, you want to pull forward over your eye. 
and then roll it. And then this one's gonna go in. Widen it as much as you can so your yeah, bone is uh, no, widen it as much as you want uh, or how much whatever you think your hair is going to hold with. but it's also, you can still like, see it, you know? Okay. Okay. And then we're going to take out this. And we're going to brush all of these curls out. And we're just going to brush underneath. And they're all going to form together and then break it up with your fingers. So. And then with whatever live pins you have left, just pin these back. And then, yeah, and this is the hair socks. I think this is really cute and simpler hairstyle for like 40s or vintage styles like you can leave it like follow your curls like this where they're all like together but I like to break them apart because I like like the um, cocker spaniel kind of look you know which is how I like it though so yeah this is my finish look I'm gonna zoom out really quick for you guys so you can see the full hair. And this is the final hair. Uh, this is the finished hairdo. What do you guys think? Like, I like it better when like I comb out my curls. And if you wanted to, you can like hairspray this thing. But like, this is like third day hair for me, so it's really like smooth and I don't mind. Plus, I don't really like hairspray my like my last day before I wash my hair. So yeah. So I thought this was a really cute idea like I was trying to as I said I was trying to do victory rolls the other day and I like it just would not work for me so I came with this hairstyle instead and I thought it was really cute see so, yeah, especially the um, pin curls right here so again with the pin curls so you're gonna take the bottom one back at a 90 degree angle wrap it around your fingers and then roll into a circle so the circle does not look right so you have I don't want to do that. So you have a circle and then it just rolls down and you kind of like just play around with your fingers until you get it. And this one you take it forward at a 90 degree and you roll it upwards and lay it flat against your head. These both are laying flat. Um, I think my only problem with victory roll is they're kind of like standing up but I like the flat better for my face shape and plus I think this looks really good for long face shapes. like. It really looks good, like, because I have a long face shape and I think it looks good. 
So what do you guys think? If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and I will for sure to do more hair tutorials for you guys in the future. So I thought I would share this with you and I, I thought it was really cute and I wanted to recreate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, fools.